We first got connected at Freedom Life through our son, Luke, coming to youth group, playing drums. Over the years, we connected with people in different churches, but it was just different. They were just so welcoming to yeah. us and, and, you know, all my kids, you know, mm -hmm. they're all connected and it's, it's awesome. It was a few weeks before Christmas and Pastor Sam had came on about a special offering. And when he started speaking, I felt God tell me I was supposed to give a thousand dollars. And within five, 10 seconds, Sam said, some of you are gonna feel led to give a thousand dollars. And that, to me, that was a confirmation. It's always a little bit scary, you know, that's to some people and to us, that was a good chunk of money to give, but it's just more about believing and trusting. Okay, God, you're gonna take care of us. This is fine. We're gonna give this and, and you're gonna take care of us. Fast forward to March and COVID hits. We've got to shut down the coffee shop, eat in for two weeks. So one day, not far into this, we got a telephone call for an order and uh, we did the order and we took it outside to the car and uh, the woman I had never seen before, she tipped us like $20. And it just touched me, you know, and I was just so appreciative to her and I think I teared up. I was just very thankful. About three days later, the same woman walks in, lays an envelope in front of me and walks out. And I got off the phone and I opened it up and there's a letter in there and it says, God told me some time ago that I was to give some money to someone, but I didn't know who. She said, the other day when I met you, I knew it was you. And in the envelope was a check for $1,000. <laughs> Through the next several months, there were people that would come in and just give us, give us a few dollars, you know, $20, $50, $100, $200. Then one week, we had a, a really tough week. This same woman, she sent her husband in with another check for us, this time for $1,500. Our business has doubled in the last year. All these things didn't just happen, and it was, it was obedience. It's so important to share these things and these stories. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And it's encouraging to us when we retell it, it reminds us, hey, God's faithful. Right. He did this before. He just did this for you. He's going to do it again. Yeah. And then you encourage other people. We don't give to get. We, we, we give in obedience. It's just amazing. You can't outgive God.